Well, there it is. 9870. Getting ready to see it here today. Getting ready to get it out, hook her up. Get some of this corn cut down here. Corn all around here. It's just 96 day corn. We plant that early. Try to get it off early. Uh, we don't have a dryer or anything in our facility, so we can't dry the corn. But uh, we got corn here. Pretty much ready to go. Checked it yesterday with 17%. So it's pretty much ready to roll. We can get that put in the bin, blow some air on it, and get her down where it needs to be. So there you go. Getting the combine fired up, ready to roll. Let's see how it goes from here. We got to get the head hooked up, get the crane cart hooked up, and uh, go from there and see what happens. There you can see behind me. 8235R, hooked to a J&M green cart. There's our green cart. Now I'm out, we're getting things together. Got the head over there a little while ago, got that hooked up. And I'll just give y'all a little walk around here and take a look at the cart, it's 812. Uh, it's been a good cart for us. We got a lot of hilly ground. So this is about the biggest cart you want around these areas, around our part. Um, as you can see, it's got the extendable uh, tip on it, on the end of the auger here, and that really makes it easy to load a truck. Really does work good. Like I said, it's 8235R. We've had, uh, it's been tuned. Uh, so it's got, I think we added 70 horsepower to it, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I could be mistaken. I think that's what it was. Eco tuning, I think, who so did it. Uh, it really woke the tractor up because for that size tractor, uh, 235 horsepower really ain't a lot. But let me get this over here. Getting things going. We'll be harvesting soon. Tractor's been sitting since the spring when we planted, it, so it's kind of dirty. But as you can see, uh, I'll take you a little look around here, take a little look see. Nothing fancy, 8235, John Deere, up to the green cart. Pan around here and take a look at the corn. Still got a little green in it, be a little while. May ready, may ready. We ain't checked the moisture on this corn here yet. Uh, this is 105 day, uh, we got some like I said, if we check the moisture in the uh, 96 day corn we got, and that was 17% yesterday, so it ain't gonna be long at all. We can cut it 17, drop it in the bin, blow a little air on it, she'll dry right up. So, but like I said, we getting things together, it ain't gonna be long. Harvest 2024. Not really a very exciting harvest. I'm usually pretty excited for harvest, but uh, a little bummed out this year. I guess we don't know really what we got till we start cutting, but uh, I just know it's this is probably one of the, it's definitely the driest year uh, that I've actually been farming. Uh, my granddad and my dad have, may have seen some drier years, but this has been a tough year on us with the dry being so dry and our sprayer broke and i wasn't able to go over top of soybeans the second time like i wanted to uh so um it still did really well but we made a decision that uh you know instead of hiring somebody to go over them all we were trying to buy a sprayer and finally got the, the uh, new apache and you can see that in my other videos but uh finally got that it's just been a tough year and so every year can't be a good year that's just the way farming is we can't control everything and, uh, just just take it as we go and thank god for what we do have and uh just keep plugging along and and it might actually be better corn here than we think um, walk through it it's not like i said it's nothing beautiful to look at but i think it'll do all right um, I think this year we're gonna try planting wheat 
We haven't planted wheat since I was a kid. And I think we're gonna put some wheat on this. I don't know if we're gonna put it on this ground behind this corn or not. We might, we were thinking about maybe running the turbo till over it and uh, incorporating the, the uh, corn fodder and, you know, get it to break down a little quicker. I just know that, uh, you know, with the nitrogen, we put out a lot of fertilizer this year and it couldn't utilize it because of the because of the drought, but I think just, you know, the fertilizer, we really have to monitor how much fertilizer, you don't want to get too much nitrogen in the wheat, you know, and it'll carry over in the corn fodder, so we'd like to get that incorporated in the ground, get it broke down, just to, but like I said, I don't know if we're going to put wheat here or not, you haven't decided, we'll definitely put a cover crop if we don't do wheat, so, all right, well, getting closer and closer, we'll be, we'll be combining here shortly. Yeah together got the combine hooked up to the head uh gearing off header we were greasing it and going over everything found a couple hydraulic hoses leaking a little bit and instead of fighting them all year i think we'll go ahead and uh, take them off and get them fixed in the morning so unfortunately we won't start harvesting today but uh pretty sure tomorrow will be the day tomorrow will be the first day we get to cut some corn in 2024 so it's kind of exciting first day of harvest is always a little exciting you never know what's going to happen whether everything's going to cooperate machine's going to work or, you know it's a lot has to come together to make a harvest work so uh we'll get started early tomorrow morning get things on we got one belt that we got had to pick up from the uh deal john deere dealership we got that to put on and then we got, like I said, two hydraulic hoses. We'll go early in the morning, get them made up, get them put on the head. And tomorrow will be the day, so stick around. Um, and we will make sure we got a video of the first day of harvest. And I just thank you all for watching. Like I said, and like, subscribe. If you know anybody who loves farming, especially grain farming, uh, I'll throw some mixed in videos in there once in a while, different stuff we do. But mainly it'll be farming uh all year round and i just appreciate everyone watching and uh i just hope everyone has a blessed day and a good evening and we will see you again as soon as we get this harvest underway thank y'all and have a blessed evening